Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and hear what God is saying to us today. Exodus chapter 20, verses 13 to 17. God said, you must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you must not testify falsely against your neighbour, you must not covet your neighbour's house. These blunt commandments are even more brief in Hebrew, where a better translation would be no murder, no adultery, no stealing. <laughs> in quick succession, God sets out the activities that must be stopped if a community is to thrive. Having respect for human life, marriage, property and truth-telling are foundational to a peaceful and harmonious society, and coveting what others have can only be destructive. In first reading, the trouble with these commandments is they sound so negative. But the reason for this is quite clearly because God's desire is the best. He won't settle for anything less than that. And so he is ruthlessly opposed to anything that will spoil life for his much-loved children. The sanctions showed how serious he was. Murder would lead to capital punishment, adultery to stoning, and the thief had to make full restitution. As human beings, we never enjoy being told what we can't do, but it's often a sign of love. My parents spent years telling me the things I shouldn't do. Their rules were often annoying and frustrating, but there's no doubt that they were a sign of their love for me and for my sisters. If they'd allowed us to do whatever we wanted, it would have been the clearest sign that they didn't care, but they did. Coveting might well be the most challenging of these five commandments for us. We live in a society in which coveting is continually encouraged. Every advertisement encourages us to want something that we've not got. But God has a much better plan. He wants us to be content with what we have and to find peace in not continuously rushing after more and more of everything. Let me pray with you. Lord God, we thank you for your complete love for us. Help us to believe that your commandments are always an expression of your love. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. You can hear me on podcast at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.